Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna do a review of my Chanel bag. I'm gonna talk about the tear and wears and also pros and cons. And if I recommend this bag or if it's worth buying. So let's get started. Okay, so it's still in the dust bag. This dust bag is beautiful from Chanel. It comes like this when I purchase it, and I also store this bag like this. I have the chain on this side and the bag on one side. This dust bag only comes with a classic flat bag only. It has the white felt like this. This is Chanel Classic Double Flat Bag in size jumbo. It has silver hardware in patterned leather, beautiful red. It has double CC interlock. And let me show you the side, the back. It has Mona Lisa pocket, very classic. And it is in red pattern leather, quilted leather, very classic. It doesn't have feet in the bottom, but as you see, no wear and tear on it. It has woven leather chain, very beautiful, in silver hardware, right? Let me open the back and show you the inside. Okay, it has another felt in here to protect the leather from the chain right here. This bag has one zip pocket on the flap, which I have my authenticated card and the receipt in here. It open and the pocket is upward. So I have the authentication card and the receipt in here. Let me check the receipt. Look at this. It's been a long time so you don't really see anything on here. Yeah, but this bag I purchased in 2013 for 4900 it's been seven years. So it was much, much lower than what it is right now. Let me take the felt out. Let me show you a closer look. Okay, so it has the hidden pocket in here. And it has button in the inner flap and this bag is made in Italy it has one pocket here which I usually have my phone it has one big compartment with two slip pockets on the side and one lipstick pocket in the middle now I'm gonna show you what would fit inside this bag so this is how I have my essentials. Let me take one by one out so you can see. I have my phone case in here, which I just use it as a wallet because I can store cash inside and cards outside. If I need to have my phone inside to take it out somewhere quickly, then I can store my phone in here. and. This is Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch in size 15, uh, which holds my little essentials in here. I have my hand sanitizer, which is a must have right now. I have my six key holder from Louis Vuitton. I have my sunglasses in the soft case. And that is all. You can see a big compartment, very spacious. I have my business card and a family picture in here. 
I don't usually store lipstick in the middle pocket. I just have some perfume, sample perfume here, just in case. Let me show you what else would fit in here. This is a full size wallet from Chanel. This is a mini pochette. This is a key pouch. If I need this, I just put on the top. It also fits a mini iPad. If I have sunglasses, I just have it on the top. This is how it is. It's very spacious. And now let me try with other things. I still have my mini iPad inside. If I want to put the wallet on chain inside, it fits too. Look at this. It is very spacious. I can have my key pouch inside. Also my hand sanitizer and also my sunglasses. Look at this. And that is how much this bag can hold. It is so roomy, it fits a lot. This is really good as a work bag, a travel bag, or for any occasion. Now I'm going to talk about the pros of this bag. It is a very classic, very gorgeous looking bag. A very structured bag, very spacious, very beautiful color. And as you know, the pattern leather is very durable. I don't really see any wear and tear on this bag after seven years. I know that I didn't use this bag as much. But after seven years, it definitely holds its structure beautifully and still in excellent condition. It's a popped up color. It has a very sexy red color. It gets a lot of attention whenever I take it out because the shiny, flashy looking, that is how I decided to buy this bag when I saw it. When I purchased this bag, I didn't know much about luxury. It is the first Chanel bag in my collection. So I love it. Now about the cons. Take a look at this bag again. It is inside jumble. So it's a little bit big for my height. I'm only 5'1 for preference. So this chain is very long for my height. It dropped too low when I wear it on my shoulder. It is very, very long. So I always wear this bag with double chain like this on my shoulder. Even if I wear crossbody, it's still very long for my height. I'm very petite. So when I take picture with this bag, you don't really see me but the bag only. It is very big. So I look, um, I just look strange. So looking at those picture, I don't really feel comfortable with the look of this bag on my body frame. That is the cons for myself. And the bag is very heavy too. Even before I have anything inside, if I feel the bag in full with all my essentials, then it gets super heavy. Although I prefer to wear this on my shoulder as a double chain, when it gets too heavy, I have to wear it as a crossbody bag. Then it becomes too long for me. It drops too low. And about the color, because it's red, so it's not easy to transfer it from the day bag to a evening bag. It is a little bit too dressy for everyday bag. 
I usually take this bag out with me on special occasions only, especially like around holidays like Christmas or New Year. And also because it's too flashy, it gets too much attention too. Sometimes a certain area that you don't feel comfortable wearing this, especially at night, a certain area. So I have to turn it around to wear it like this um, to hide away the classic look of it. I have the love and hate relationship with this bag. I love the shape, the structure of this bag. I love the color, the classic look, and it is a very sentimental piece as a first bag in my collection from Chanel. But because it's a little heavy, and the chain is too long for me and it is a little bit too big for my liking nowadays it doesn't fit my lifestyle anymore so I'm not sure I'm thinking about rehuming this bag to someone that can use this more often give more love to it I don't think I should keep it in my collection because for years, I just had it in my closet and only use it a few times a year. I wouldn't recommend this bag for someone petite like me. I'm only 5'1 as preference because of the size and also the length of the chain. It would look better for someone taller and in different color. Black or nude would be better. The look of this bag is absolutely amazing. But you buy what you love and what fits your lifestyle. Don't get influenced by others. Just this bag, I didn't do any research. Since I worked hard, I saved up for it, and I just want to reward it myself with a Chanel bag, but I didn't know much about the sizes at that time. So when I walked into the Chanel boutique, the SA showed me this one, and I fell in love at that time. Because of the color, the classic look, I just loved it and decided to get this one. It was a lot to me at that time, so I didn't plan to use this bag as an everyday bag. So I just took it out on special occasions only. But over time, I realized that I didn't want to use this bag as much. I didn't really take it out as often as I should because it gets heavy when I want to take it out for the day. I usually wear this bag double chain, but if I take it out for the day, or for shopping, I have to wear it as a crossbody bag because I don't feel comfortable on my shoulder when it gets too heavy. But it's definitely a good investment. I purchased this bag seven years ago. So at the time, it was only 4900 But now after the price increase on Chanel website, the price of this bag is 7100 It is a huge increase after seven years. So even if I sell this bag now, I still get more than what I paid seven years ago, but not like you buy in today and then sell it in a month or two. You wouldn't get more than what you pay as a retail price. I hope this video is helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell below to get notified every time I upload a new video, which will be every week. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Have a fabulous day and a beautiful life. Bye now.